Okay, so um, I'm gonna do a quick little demo on how to go about building a population pyramid here in Google Sheets. So as you can see on the screen, I've actually imported the data from your um, World in the ba Balance video worksheet. So over on the left-hand side, we see data for India. Over on the right-hand side, we see data for Japan. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've changed the headings of these columns just from a percent sign to male percent and female percent. I did that for both. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick formula in Google Sheets, all right, to be able to set up my data in both the percentages, um, the percentage columns. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click in this first one. Anytime you're putting in a function in Google Sheets, you're gonna start with an equal sign. The male numbers, we want them to be negative, okay, because we want them on one side of our central zero um, axis. So we're gonna do, first thing we do is we do equals and we type in a minus. And I'm gonna go ahead and start a parenthesis, and I'm gonna click on this cell right here that says 62,926. Then I'm gonna divide by, and I'm gonna type in this totals number down here. So 1156897, end my parentheses, and then I'm gonna multiply it by 100. So what that does is it gives me <clears throat> Pardon me, it gives me this number right here. Now, on your screen, you may not have it where it's only just one decimal place. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through here and let's go ahead and just make it two decimal places. So bring it down from its original, it may be six or seven decimal places for you when you first do that. Go ahead and highlight all of these cells and change it so that it's to two decimal places. Now, whoops, super, super simple. Notice that I have like this little blue rectangle around this cell. I'm gonna grab onto this little blue square, I'm gonna click and hold, and I'm gonna drag it down so that it goes all the way down to that last square down there. And what that does is it just copies the entire formula all the way down, and it actually makes the adjustment. It's basically, it's knowing that for this one, I'm using this cell. For this one, I wanna use this cell. Here's the reason why I typed in the number itself because if I actually say I wanna do this cell divided by this cell to get that, if I copy and paste it down, it's gonna assume that since I'm moving down here, it's moving down from here as well. So that's why I typed that number in um, on its own. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the uh, female. This time I don't need to worry about the negative. So I'm gonna do equals, um, no, no negative. <laughs> Start my parentheses, click on this cell, divided by 1156897, and then times 100. Again, I had already gone through and changed the decimals on these, so I'm just going to, well, I'm gonna go ahead and what you should do is highlight all of this, change it so that it's to two decimal places, which it already is in this. Then I'm gonna grab that little blue square, I'm gonna click and hold and drag it down, and it gives me this data. So what I've done, now is in the age zero to four group, I have actually said that based on this data, the zero to four group in males in India makes up 5.44% of the population. The females in that age group makes up 4.82% of the population. And as you can see, it goes down um, as we go to older age groups. So now let's go ahead and make a population pyramid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all of my data and I'm gonna go up here to either insert chart or you can go over here to this little button right here. So let's go ahead and click on that and insert a chart. Oh my goodness, this looks absolutely nothing like what we want. Well, here's one of the reasons why. It's actually using the data for male, male percent, female, female percent. So when we come over here to our chart editor, we're going to click on these three dots next to M and we're gonna remove. And we're gonna click on the three dots next to F and we're going to remove. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Okay, but now we don't want a column chart. What we wanna do is we actually wanna go down here and figure out in terms of um, our uh, columns, bars, what we want is a stacked bar chart, all right? So now what we've done is we actually see this, how it's like upside down, all right? We have the zero to fours, okay? And then it goes to 75 plus. Here's the issue with that, okay? Um, that's not really what we want to see with regard to a population pyramid, all right? It actually needs to be reversed. Now, what you could do, which would take a whole bunch of time, is you could actually type in all of this stuff again and just start with 75 plus up here and go zero to four on the bottom. But there's an easier way of doing it. 
if you go over here to customize and we customize the uh, vertical axis, we can actually just click on this little button right here that says reverse axis order. You click on that and now, boom, we've got ourselves a population pyramid. So that's how you go about doing it. So go ahead and you can copy what I did over there and kind of uh, you know mimic everything that I did for India. And then you can go ahead and make your population pyramid for Japan. And I hope that helps.